Hey everyone, Techni here with a keyboard review. And let me tell you what, we have a very good one here. This keyboard is actually going to take the crown as the best budget 60% keyboard. And yes, this one's knocking off our previous case of diarrhea. If you remember that 60% board, this one is topping that here. And this one is actually also by diarrhea, but also their parent company, Keymove, which is kind of what they're focusing on now here, kind of representing their band brand and boxing them up with the branding Keymove kind of all over them. And let me tell you what, this thing is awesome. And it's so awesome, I want to be able to share it with you. So we're going to be giving one away as well. Let's check it out. So number one, how about that packaging? I mean, this thing is pristine. This is some premium packaging here. Little magnets on the side right there kind of hold it shut. I mean, like, wow, really hard cardboard. Not this real flimsy paper cardboard stuff. You know, you got foam in here holding it. Like, wow, you don't see this kind of packaging on a $50 keyboard. But as far as in the packaging, you get your keyboard, little dust cover, your USB right over here, which is braided and pretty durable, quick little manual, your uh, wire keycap puller, you actually get your switch puller because these are hot swappable with other optical switches, and then they give you some other switches. Now, I don't know why, uh, my keyboard here has the uh, Gatoron red optical switches, but within my replacement switches, I got a red one and a brown one. I'm not too sure why I got two different ones, but anyways, to give you some replacement switches. All right, so a couple things about the board real quick, obviously 60% compact size, connecting by USB-C right there with that nice durable uh, USB right there. Now we are using Gatoron optical switches. Again, I have the reds right there and they are hot swappable. All right, so now as far as the build, and that's where this board really just blows me away. Again, coming in at that $50. I mean, you can't get a lick of flex on this thing. This thing is so stinking solid. It has a nice weight to it. It's not too heavy, not too light, kind of right there in between. As you can see underneath, your keys right here you have that metal plate right down there and it's really nice because you have the border that pops up so whenever you press your keys it goes down into that border so uh, whenever you're typing on this thing I mean it feels so solid no tinny tingy sounds or anything it doesn't feel cheap again incredibly solid and to top it all off again $50 mechanical keyboard here double shot PBT keycaps are we serious 50 bucks and as you just saw right there on all of our bigger keys are enter keys shift and our space bar you have nice stabilizers in there and every key feels very balanced across the entire board now real quick stepping back a little bit here again talking about the switches and then the stabilizers on here and everything kind of talking about those keycaps again if you're curious with these gator on optical switches yes you can pretty much just put about any other keycap set on these guys whether it be the hyper x you can put some duckies on here whatever you want you can put on here but again talking about these keycaps there's no need to because these things are incredibly solid. Double shot PBT again. Talking about solid, let me go on and give you this sound test. I mean, wow, this thing is just awesome, right? Coming in at 50 bucks, I don't know, it still shocks me. I've been using the heck out of it for quite a while here. And again, just testing it right now, showing it to you guys, still wrapping around my head 50 bucks. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me, you know what I mean? And yes, there is RGB on it. As you can see, I have mine lit up red right here, but you have plenty of effects on this thing. Now real quick, talking about the keycaps again, uh, Double Shot PBT. As you notice with pretty much every Double Shot PBT, whether you're talking about the keycaps on the Amp Pro 2 or the Ducky or anything like that, right? You do get a little bit of fade every now and then on certain keys here and there. It's kind of hit or miss. It's not all of them, but again, it's just kind of hit or miss. The other thing to point out that I have pointed out in pretty much every other optical switchboard we have reviewed, when you notice these effects that I'm about to show you here right now, just kind of watch when you go from the green to the yellow or green to the red and that kind of transition right in there, you know what I mean? You'll kind of see it kind of uh, bleed between each keys. That's the one thing I don't like as far as the RGB on this. When you got a smooth motion going, it looks crisp. 
and it is incredibly smooth. But again, that transition between uh, green, yellow, and a little bit of that red right there, you kind of see it kind of bleed within each other, and it kind of throws me off a little bit. But other than that, I mean, I keep my boards on solid, and it is bright, it is vibrant, and it is incredibly crisp. So as you can see, we have the Keymove software pulled up right now. And straight off the bat, it looks a little confusing, to be honest with you. You know what I mean? But anyways, we're in a standard right here, which you can't really edit any of this. Get into your layer one right here. And this is where you can customize it. Get your RGB and your lighting all adjusted right here. But it's honestly pretty nice and pretty simple because everything's just right here. Adjust your keys. Bam, over here. Adjust your color. Everything's right there with all these effects and everything. Really, really nice. And again, you can set these layers to whatever you want. You got your numpads, your media, again, your mouse and all that stuff. Really cool to have those other layers. One thing I really love, and I wish every single keyboard would have this, I really do, is right down here, bam, you got Windows layout, bam, click, click on it, and you have the Mac layout. I wish every single keyboard had that. I honestly love that. Now, as far as the bottom of board here, you do not have any pop-out feet. You got your four rubber feet right down here on the bottom, but as you can see with the angle right there, it does slope up right there in a very nice ergonomic feel. I mean, it feels perfect. No need for feet popping out. All right, so a couple quick things on the board. Number one, what I wanna show you is the font right here. It's not that common gamer font we see, but it's also not a basic font. I really like it. I mean, take a look at that Y right there. It looks real cool. And then the A down here. Yeah, you do have the gaps in between them, but it kind of gives it like the, I don't wanna say like a futuristic, kind of real smooth look. I don't know. I really like the font on this board. The other thing I wanna show you here is you have multiple layers on this board. As you see, you got standard, then you got one, two, and three. The other thing I'd like to show you over here on the other side of the board, as you can see, you have all your RGB functions, whether it be speed adjustment, your brightness, your effect, or you can just turn them off if you desire. And as you're seeing all these options printed on the keycap, some people do not like that. They make it, uh, they say it makes the board look real messy. I personally really like it. I really like being able to have those options right there because bam, I'm playing or doing whatever and bam, it's right there. Very easy to access and you know what you're adjusting. Now, another really cool thing on this board right here, as you can see, you got F and X on the space bar. That's whenever you're in different layers and you can long press the space bar and actually load up another different function layer right there as well when you're in a different layer. Now, you also have the function key and you can double press it right there and actually keep your functions active so you don't have to hold it down. And then bam, just press it again and it'll go back to the regular functions of the board. So real cool to have those easy access shortcuts right there. All right, so my thoughts on the board and then we'll talk about that giveaway right there. But all in all, my thoughts on the board here, I really like it, I, I really do, like honestly, I mean it just feels solid and I can't get it out of my mind, 50 bucks, and every now and then if you watch on Amazon, sometimes they got a coupon code applied on there and you can get it for even cheaper. But I honestly can't find a negative to say about this board, I, I honestly can't, no no nonsense here. Um, if there's one thing I would recommend you doing, again, I got Gator on optical reds and after me testing a whole bunch of optical keyboards, and I always get reds because my favorite switch is a Cherry MX Red, that's what I like, it's a little bit firmer of a red right there and I just love the feel of it you know what I mean so if you're a red fan like me I'd honestly recommend you going brown switches because the red optical switches they're just they're incredibly soft very very soft and just super smooth which sounds like a red switch you know what I mean but they are incredibly much softer than a cherry mx red and I kind of kind of catch myself getting some typos here and there you know what I mean but if you like that maybe it'll give you the extra competitive edge they're a little bit quicker a little bit right to the point right there but I like mine to be just a little bit firmer again these are just incredibly soft but the cool thing about that again me kind of recommend you hey maybe you want to look at the brown switches here instead of the reds but the cool thing about that speaking of the giveaway we have one with the brown switches to give away. All right, so how this giveaway is gonna work. Number one, you have to be a subscriber, right? Number two, no, you don't have to like the video. If you do, hey, that'd be nice. But if not, go ahead and hit that thumbs down if you don't like it, you know what I mean? You know what I really wish, kind of jumping off track here. You know what I wish YouTube would do? Like if you thumbs down a video, I, I wish they could give a reason why you didn't like it. Because honestly, I just wanna learn. That's all I wanna do is someone thumbs it down, oh, hey, Techni talked too much, or oh hey, Techni's lighting was bad, something like that, you know what I mean? I'd like some constructive criticism with it, rather than someone just smashing the thumbs down, you know what I mean? I don't know, I think it'd just be helpful. But anyways, again, subscribe, and then what I want you to do, write down in the comments right down there, let me know what is the best 
$50 keyboard you have ever used is. And the last thing you have to do, well, you really don't have to do it because again, putting that comment right down there with your best or your favorite 50% keyboard you have ever used, right down in the comments will enter you into the giveaway. But what I'm also gonna implement here, because sometimes we do like social media things, but as you all know, all I really use is Twitter. So I'm gonna have this a video posted on my Twitter account and if you retweet it from that tweet on my Twitter account, Boy, am I confused right now. Okay, so I'm gonna have this video on my Twitter account, retweet it right from there, and that'll give you another entry, right? So I'm gonna pull a winner from this one right over here, and then I'll pull one from the Twitter account as well. Then I'm gonna put them together, those two that I picked from there, and then I'll pick from those two, if that makes any sense whatsoever. But like I said, if you share it on Twitter, it kind of gives you another entry. All right, so I'm not sure if that made any sense right there. I think I really confused myself. Anyways, do the comment thing, do the Twitter thing, and you get two entries. Because I can pick your name from the comments, and then pick your name from the Twitter, and then you automatically win. So you get two chances to be entered in to that final round. There we go. That kind of makes a little bit more sense. To, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, 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 hold up. And by the way, the giveaway is going to end on the 25th. Only a two-week giveaway. So get your entry in. And yes, unfortunately, as always still, I mean, we're still not that big here. I'm not making all this bank off YouTube, you know. I gotta do US shipping only, which is a real, real stinker. Trust me, I feel so bad about having to do that. I mean, this guy is pretty lofty here. It would cost an arm and a leg to ship it overseas, and I apologize for that. I promise, if or whenever we get uh, bigger around here, I promise I will start shipping overseas. Um, but as of right now, just US shipping. And to top it all off, both lucky winners, the one I pick from the comment section and the one from Twitter, you'll also get yourself one of these super sweet techni tees right here. But hey everyone, thank you so much for stopping by and watching this one. Again, this is such a gem. I mean, I'm sorry I'm late on this one. I've been sitting on this keyboard for a while and I've been using it. I've just been trying to pry it apart and trying to find something wrong with it. You know what I mean? But I can't. I just can't. But hey, thank you so much for stopping by and watching this one. I highly appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, hit that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for some future tech videos. I hope to catch you in the next one. Bye now.